In this exercise, we will describe the construction of equations using what's called the story of x, or the story of the variable. How was the finished equation constructed? List in order how this equation would have been built based on the structure of the operations shown. In equation one, we have three x minus five equals 17. For each equation, we begin with the variable, which in this case is x. And now looking at the equation, notice how here we have three x, which means first x is multiplied by three, so step one is multiply by three. Now keep in mind, if we multiply x by three, that's really x times three, but due to the commutative property of multiplication, this is equal to three times x, which we normally write as just three x. So if we multiply x by three, we'll write that product as three x. Going back to the equation, notice now we have three x minus five, so now we subtract five from this product, or subtract five from three x. So step two is subtract five. If we subtract five from this product, or subtract five from three x, this gives us the expression three x minus five. Going back up to the equation, we have three x minus five equals 17, so we know the result is 17, which gives us the equation three x minus five equals 17. Let's look at the second equation. We have the quantity x plus two divided by three equals 12. Again, we start with the variable x, and because we have x plus two, step one is to add two. If we add two to x, this gives us the expression x plus two. And then because we have the quantity x plus two divided by three, we take the sum and divide by three. So step two, we divide by three. This gives us the expression the quantity x plus two divided by three. And our equation is the quantity x plus two divided by three equals 12. So we know the result is 12. which gives us our final equation, the quantity x plus two divided by three equals 12. I hope you found this helpful.